Hi, I'm Andrew. You may recognize me from, well, probably nothing. And I'm here to help you collaborate on music in this new social distancing world. Now, this isn't a means to replace physically jamming with others, but a way to keep you all connected and creative, developing new skills in recording, transcription, arranging, and working remotely, which are all very big components of the contemporary recording industry. Now, for this, we're using technology you already have. A phone. I'm very old-fashioned with my uh, iPhone SE, which is the modern equivalent of a steam engine. Apart from that, all you'll need are headphones. I'm going to use these Audio Technicas right here, and we'll rely on the phone's built-in microphone. Now let's download the app Acapella by Pick Play Post. It's available on the App Store and Google Play. Your first time opening the app, you'll be asked to create a free account. Then we'll click the microphone icon at the bottom and select Record New. Let's choose a classic layout with eight boxes, which will mean we can record eight tracks for our song. I'm going to set a custom length of 35 seconds. With the free version, you are limited to one minute, and in the paid version, you can record up to 10 minutes. Click Next, and then voila, a clean slate. Tap on one of the boxes to start recording. Pressing the blue button in the bottom left corner allows you to choose whether you want to monitor yourself as you record, as well as options for mic input gain, monitor, and metronome or playback volume. You can also choose if you want to monitor your recording in one ear with playback in the other. I'm going to lower the mic input gain a bit, and I personally prefer not to monitor in the app, and rather would just leave a headphone off. Next, I'll press the metronome icon in the corner. You can either set up a click track or choose an audio file to play along to. Since I want to play along to a specific recording, I'll select that. I'm going to recreate the chorus of one of my favorite Toto songs. I'll be over you. Living in Los Angeles, it's pretty much against the law not to love Toto. For the sake of this exercise, I've done a short edit in Pro Tools, where I've chopped out the exact section I want and added a click intro. Like so. All right, you get the idea. I've uploaded that to my phone's music library and can select it here. I'm going to start with drums. I positioned my phone to take both video and audio. I plugged in my headphones, and now all I have to do is press record. Because this is the first track, I'll also count it in. Now I'll move on to the bass. The only thing I'll change is I'll go back to the play music menu and turn off play when recording. This will help me make sure I'm matching the drums that I just recorded. Ah, Great job. Now rinse and repeat for the remaining tracks. Now I've done all the tracks that I'm capable of doing, but we have one space left over. I think I'll send this to my buddy, musician extraordinaire, Sean Holt, and see if he can lay down some sultry saxophone. I'll click the share button and select collaboration, and at the bottom, I'll send it to him via SMS text message. He can then click the link, which will launch the app on his phone, hit the red collab button, and then he's ready to go. When he's done recording, he'll repeat the same process to send the project back to me. Oh, would you look at that? Done already. Yep, everything looks good. That's Sean and his soprano sax. Now if we press the speaker icon at the bottom, we can start mixing. As the song plays, just tap on a video square and you'll get options to adjust volume, pan, reverb, and echo for that track. The other menu options allow you to tweak it even more by adjusting EQ and compression. When you go to those menus, you'll hear the selected track in solo mode. When you're happy with your mix, there's options to add some visual flair by changing the border design and adding video filters. Oh yeah, this one's real cute there, bud. And finally, you can add an image or watermark. Let's add the song title. Boom. All right, now let's enjoy our masterpiece. As soon as my heart stops breaking and disappearing, as soon as forever is through, I'll be over you. Hey, not bad. I mean, it won't win any Grammys, but that's not the point. It was a fun, easy way to practice ensemble playing. 
Good music is good music. So if you can make this app groove, then you're in great shape. Now that we're done, let's hit share and select either public or private. In this case, I want to save this video to my camera roll, then I can have a copy I can share freely. In the paid version, I'm also able to export the audio separate as both a lossless stereo file and, get this, each individual track. You can save them from here right to your Dropbox and then load them into a DAW and play around with them there. To keep it simple, I just use the mixing tools in the app. Now some tips and tricks. To ensure that the app runs smoothly, make sure to close any other apps you're not using and that you have some storage space free. You might also want to disable your Wi-Fi or cellular network. The Acapella app also runs on iPad and maybe some other tablets too, I actually haven't personally checked. You can use headphones with a mic built in like these or these. They might be a bit more prone to distort, so make sure that you adjust the mic input gain. There's also an option to use compatible third-party microphones and interfaces, in which case you can capture much higher sound quality. But I wanted to demonstrate the results that you could get just using what's on the phone. That's it. You're locked, loaded, and ready to go. Thanks for watching, good luck, and keep your stick on the ice.